What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I get my 10,000 steps in today. And we got some stuff to talk about. You know, the New York Post, they, they came across some clip of Biden and Obama having a, as they put it initially, a, an intense conversation. They were at Ethel Kennedy's funeral. I think Bill Clinton was there and some other, you know, political, you know, big wigs. So that was one thing, you know, just just them there. You know, they had the camera on them and they, they did seem to be having a, a conversation that they were they were pretty, uh, I don't want to say intense, but they seemed pretty involved. You know, whatever it was, you could tell it was it was it was serious, you know, especially the look on, on Obama's face. So New York Post gets a a professional lip reader to interpret what it is they were saying. And man, and we were not ready. What were they saying? It was it was Biden saying that Kamala is not as strong as him. And Obama agreeing that she's she's not. Wow. I mean, who would have thought? So you got you got two guys that are, you know, promoting her. Not so much Biden, and we'll get to that in a second. Not so much Biden. Definitely Obama, he's on the payroll. He's been, you know, out saying stuff about Kamala. He's been on social media saying stuff about Kamala. You know, Biden's not on the payroll. He <laughs> and and he's not he's not ever gonna be on the payroll. But uh, you know, it's it's funny how she's she's such a weak candidate for the for the Democrats that the two of them who both have won the presidency, Obama twice and Biden, you know, unfortunately once. But the, the two of them who have won, they can clearly tell that Kamala's just not it, man. She's not a strong enough candidate in order to beat Donald Trump. What I find to be very fascinating about this is the fact that Biden knows he's a stronger candidate and he was you know biden i did not think that biden was going to be donald trump at all he was he, he was on the cognitive decline it was very clear to see regardless of how much the left tried to cover it up it, it just was undeniable even though they still tried to deny the undeniable but when he had that that debate he really exposed himself and so there was no going back after that. So Biden, initially, he's trying to put on a brave front. They want him to step down. He's refusing. I'm not going to step down. But he eventually caves to the pressures of the people around him. And he decides to go ahead and step back. And he, he uh, endorses uh, Kamala. I don't believe Kamala is who he wanted to endorse just the way he's behaved the way he showed up and bust up in the same day like within a matter of hours from the democrat national convention i think that biden the way they did him was dirty and uh he's just being quiet about it but he still feels some kind of way about it the way they did him the least they could have did is gave him the opportunity to pick his successor but I don't believe they did that. They were pressing Kamala on him. He went ahead and rolled with it. And just due to how quiet he's been when it comes to being seen, promoting her the way you know Obama has been. I mean, he don't have to be on the payroll. This was his running mate. This was this was his VP. You would think you would see him out there really being public pushing for her. He hasn't been. You know, he'll He'll avoid saying anything negative, but the enthusiasm of like pushing her, like she's a great pick, it has not been there. 
So you have two people, you know, these, these are two well-respected amongst the Democratic Party. They're both saying she ain't it. Now, Biden believes that he could have beat Donald Trump. Whether he actually could have beat Donald Trump is a whole different thing. But he believed he could. And that's why even after the way he performed during that debate, he really wasn't trying to step down. But, you know, they forced it on him. So here, here we are. He's he's out. Kamala's in. And it's, it's not working. Honestly, I think in terms of polling, she's doing worse than even Biden was. So him saying that she's not as strong as him, he's not wrong. You just look at the numbers. You know, I mean, he's he's not going to just say this. He's not going to just pull this out of his behind and say it. I'm sure that he's looked at the data and that's where he got that from. And Obama as well looked at the data, which is why he was agreeing. So what what can they do at this point? Nothing. They realize the person that they picked was not a good one. See, they were trying just too hard. They were trying too hard to, to push history and it's going to cost them. They wanted the first woman, which would have already been making history, but they couldn't just stop there. It had to be the first woman and also woman of color. And this being greedy to make history is, is, is going to cost them. They wanted to be making history when it came to Obama. It worked. They wanted to make history when it came to Kamala being the VP. It worked. But they got too greedy. And now it's going to cost them. Kamala's not the better candidate. It's plain for everybody to see. You know, you got, you got some people who are still supporters of her. But to be quite honest, I think in their heart of hearts, they don't believe that Kamala is the better candidate. They just hate Donald Trump. Because some people are, are doing that. They're, they're just voting for whoever is opposite of Donald Trump. They just have this hatred for him. And they're going to vote for whoever the other person is. Or not vote at all. But I don't think they're going to not vote at all. I think they're going to just go out and hate vote against Donald Trump. They're really not voting for, for, for Kamala. How do I know this? I've seen it all around me. I, I talk to people. You know, I'm out here in these streets. Y'all be seeing me. I'm out here every day in these streets. I talk to people. And, you know, the ones that I do that that uh say they're going to vote for Kamala, when I ask them why, it really just comes down to they don't like Donald J. Trump. And, and that's it. They don't know anything about Kamala's policies. They don't know anything about uh, Kamala's history of locking up black men and destroying black families as a, a DA. They don't know anything about that. They just hear Donald Trump. They react emotionally to him because they've been told over and over and over, he's a racist, he's a racist, he's a racist. Even though you can find countless pictures of him with black actors, with black celebrities. I mean, if he's being a racist, he's the worst racist in the history of being it. You don't take unlimited photographs with black actors, black athletes, black artists all throughout your time of being in the the, um, the uh, public, being in the limelight. And these are people you hate the color of their skin. It just doesn't make sense. You're not a racist, uh, but then you turn around and you give hundreds of millions of dollars to historically black colleges and universities. It just doesn't make sense. But it works for people. So they're constantly told he's a racist, he's a racist, he's a racist. And of course, that sounds terrible. You hear he's a racist. So naturally, he's a bad man. You don't want to be voting for a bad man. And that's that sticks with them. They never bother to really do any research on their own. They just kind of go with what they're constantly hearing. And that's usually what the Democratic Party is relying on. They're relying on you to just listen to misinformation. If they say this misinformation enough, they'll beat it into you. And you'll never pull out your phone and Google to challenge anything. So it's just a message that's stuck with you. So they hear these things about him that don't sound flattering at all. You know, understandably, they don't. The, these things, they don't sound uh, flattering. They don't sound like he's a he's a good man. They hear these things and they're just like, there's no way I'm voting for that guy. So whoever's uh, running against him, 
if he's all these horrible things, at the very least, they're better than him. So I'm just going to vote for them. And there you have it. But I found this to be very interesting. Obama and Biden having a discussion at Ethel Kennedy's funeral about the fact that she's a weaker candidate than Biden. Just agreeing on the fact that they are a weaker candidate than Biden. And Biden's got dementia, man. How crazy is that? When the dude with dementia thinks you suck. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Appreciate y'all if y'all hung in here this long. Let me stay right here out of the sunlight so I can finish talking with y'all. Appreciate y'all connecting with me, man. I'm doing my grind to 5,000 subscribers. If you uh, rocking with me like that and you ain't really subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, man. I appreciate I appreciate all of the stuff that, that y'all do, man. I appreciate the the comments i appreciate the fact that you guys recommend topics to me i appreciate all that man i really do appreciate that you guys yes appreciate is the key word here man i'm gonna keep saying i'm gonna drop that in every video i appreciate that y'all follow me i appreciate that y'all share that y'all out doing steps and losing weight all of that man keep all of that positive energy coming so subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna holler at y'all soon peace